Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today, we're making Tang Chu Li Ji, translated as sweet and sour pork loin. If you watched my previous video, you probably know that I already made a sweet sour pork before, but that was a South China style, which we call it Gu Lou Yo in Cantonese. The dish that I'm sharing today it actually comes from the center of China. They are very similar, but a bit different. And yes, it is super delicious too. So let's get started. You will need 250 grams of pork loin. This is what I usually do. Slice the pork into thick pieces, then cut it into thick strips. Marinate it with one tablespoon of soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Not baking powder, they are different. Give that a nice mix. If you want to add some black pepper, garlic powder, go ahead. I just want to keep this simple. Let that sit for 20 minutes. So it has enough time for the baking soda to tenderize the meat. While waiting, we can make the batter. You will need a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Cracking one egg. Add half teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda. And three tablespoons of water. Mix it well. This is the consistency that you are looking for. Put the pork into the batter. Mix it nicely. Make sure every piece of the pork is coated well. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. While waiting, we can heat up the oil to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the pork strips one by one. I usually put the pork as close as possible to the oil and then drop it in. In this way, the oil won't splash everywhere. Once you can feel that one side is crispy, you can flip it over and fry the other side. Once both sides are done, take it out, let it sit for a few minutes and we are going to double fry it. If you are serving guests, you can just let it sit there and double fry it right before serving. Add the pork back into the wok. I didn't use that much oil to fry, so I just trying to shake and stir it a little bit so it gets the heat evenly. The second fry should take less than a minute and you can take it out. It should be beautifully golden brown. Now, let me show you how to make the sweet and sour sauce. You should make this sauce in advance so you can mix it with the pork right after it is fried. You will need a quarter cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of water, three tablespoons of white vinegar, and three quarter teaspoon of salt. This is dry orange peel. We call it chen pi. It will add some nice citrusy to the sauce. If you don't have it, you can use fresh ones or even some lemon zest. Add that in as well. Stir this on medium heat. Once it is bubbling, turn the heat to low. Add some cornstarch water. I just mix one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water. Make sure you stir in the sauce while adding the starch water or else it will clump up. Keep cooking it on low heat until it feels sticky but still flowing easily. This is the consistency that you are looking for. Pour the sauce all over the freshly fried pork. Give it a nice toss. Sprinkle some diced spring onion and toast sesame seeds. That's it. Look at that bright golden color. 
so shiny. <laughs> I don't really have time to admire it. It is a delicate dish. You're supposed to serve it immediately. Let me just take a bite. Mmm, so good. Even after all that camera working, taking pictures, wasting of time, you can still feel a little bit of that crunchiness. Oh. And I love that balance of sweet and sourness. It's just so perfect. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know how it went. As always, you can check the description for the written down recipe. And please give me a thumbs up. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to know more about me or support me, check out my Patreon link. It's right there. And I'll see you next time. Bye!